There's a new invasive species threatening native Florida wildlife, and it's a 10 foot long predatory fish. There's a tree that is so dangerous that even standing beneath its branches can be fatal. Spanning over 3 million square miles of South America lies Earth's largest rainforest, and so much of it is unexplored that scientists estimate nearly 3 million unique animals and 3,000 plants dwell here, with the majority of them still undiscovered. Stories passed down for ages from indigenous tribes describe strange-looking beasts and supernatural plants hidden under those dense rainforest canopies. According to these stories, what animal has a dose of poison lethal enough to kill 10 grown men? Which tree leaks burning poison sap? Why is one river as hot as boiling water? Join us as we reveal the world's most terrifying wonders discovered by scientists in the Amazon rainforest. The mysterious sawtooth dolphin sighting. In 1993, during a solo fishing trip in the Amazon basin, American Jeremy Wade spotted an unusual sea creature lurking under the still waters. Approaching 100 feet from his small boat, the animal initially resembled a gray dolphin, but peering closer, its body sported evenly carved cuts spanning from head to tail. Perplexed yet fascinated, Wade asked locals from a nearby village about the strange swimmer. They dismissed his sighting as a drunk illusion. Weeks later, Wade learned that one villager witnessed an identical species, dubbed the Holodera or Sawtooth Dolphin. Determined to confirm the dolphin's existence, he launched another well-documented expedition in 1994, this time capturing the wonder on camera. Experts theorized that the markings resulted from a botched pirate fishing job or perhaps a desperate escape from sharks. But without any other pictorial evidence, the creature's origins stay submerged in mystery. Wade is still looking for the first one that got away, an elusive Amazon spectacle that briefly revealed itself before vanishing back into the swirling currents. The Payara, saber-tooth tigerfish. Patrolling the swift currents of the Amazon roams, an opportunistic hunter with a mouth full of daggers, the Payara or saber-tooth tigerfish. Aptly named for its six-inch fangs, the Payara uses its built-in ivory tooth to ambush targets from below. With lightning speed and a deadly maw impossible to escape from, this aggressive fish glides through the water, terrorizing everything edible in its path. Pirates, catfish, tetras, and other small fish make up the bulk of Payara victims. Though incautious birds, Rodents and mammals also risk getting snatched from ashore by a leaping payara, serving as a quick snack. Rumors even recount stories of fishermen and natives falling prey to the water wolves when wading too deep. While hopefully being an exaggerated tale, the payara's power and reflexes make the trophies of hooks, spears, and body scars sported by proud local anglers understandable tall tales or unpleasant truths. Rightly earning a place among the Amazon's most notorious beings, Payara dominate their water domain, continually patrolling and testing the boundaries of rainforest rivers in search of careless meals, wandering too close to the abyss of teeth, eternally waiting below. The gruesome feeding behavior of the vampire wasp. The female vampire ground wasp exhibits one of nature's most gruesome parasitic feeding strategies. Acting as an incubator, she injects up to 60 eggs into a living animal host, selected to support her young. Caterpillars make prime targets thanks to their ample bodies rich in nutrients. Upon hatching inside the host, the vampire wasp larvae waste no time in gorging themselves on blood and tissue, leaving the victim alive but drained and weakened by this traumatic ordeal. The entire life cycle from egg to larva to mature wasp lasts around one month as the parasites progress from bean-sized worms to winged adults ready to continue the nightmare. Disabling key organs and overwhelming natural defenses are also not above these developing eaters. Oftentimes, the prey succumbs before the parasites finish maturing. The infected carcass then houses the larvae as they enter the pupae stage and chew their way out to freedom from the drained skins of the once vibrant host. 
Legends tell of rare instances where they've invaded humans. For numerous small Amazon creatures, a lightning-fast sting promises a slow, paralyzed death sentence to feed the next generation of wasps manifesting inside them. The Arapaima's Impenetrable Armor The Arapaima, known as the largest scaled freshwater fish on Earth, has a remarkable size, with an average length of 15 feet and a weight of 440 pounds. Its formidable size is complemented by rows of thick, impenetrable armored scales, creating an adaptive body shield that renders the Arapaima impervious to attacks from piranhas, caimans, and jaguars. Despite its substantial weight, this colossal fish moves gracefully and agile through the water, thanks to its torpedo-shaped body and powerful muscles, posing a challenge for locals attempting to spear or net it. One of the Arapaima's remarkable adaptations is its ability to survive on brief gulps of air. It possesses an evolved swim bladder that doubles as a crude lung, allowing the giant fish to breathe oxygen while minimizing its vulnerable surface time. This anatomical advantage enables the Arapaima to inhabit deoxygenated waters, avoiding competition with other species. However, once located, its ability to hold its breath for upwards of 20 minutes makes capturing these beastly fishes somewhat easier, albeit after a struggle befitting its mythic strength. Proclaimed as the region's living dinosaur, the Arapaima's evolutionary journey in the Amazon has sculpted it into the premier armored champion, boasting a perfect balance of brawn, size, and protective scales. This establishes the Arapaima's role as a guardian of the river for many ages to come. The Peanut Head Bug's Bag of Tricks When roaming the rainforest floor, you'll eventually get to see a humble-looking insect boasting an arsenal of tricks for bypassing predators. It's called the Peanut Head Bug. Strategically dotting its warty cranium, it uses its realistic false eyes to mimic snakes and lizards as a distraction for wading off hungry birds eyeing an easy snack. If its impersonations prove unconvincing, a foul dose of spray from its backside provides a more forceful deterrent. And the masters of illusion have more magic to ensure a clean getaway. Camouflaging its body to match bark or moss, the peanut can vanish against jungle debris in seconds. Observers even witness a ghostly glow emanating from some peanut bugs on occasion, perhaps a smoke screen to blind trackers momentarily. Though small in stature, these cunning critters outsmart pursuers through clever facades and distractions. With so many backup plans, the peanut head bug always stays one step ahead in the lethal game of hide-and-seek. The T-Rex Leech's Disturbing Feeding Strategy the Amazon rainforest is home to a peculiar yet formidable creature, the T. rex leech. Despite its small size, measuring no more than 5 centimeters, this tiny parasite possesses eight hooked fangs in its undersized mouth, making its bite deceptively powerful. Each tooth is less than a millimeter in size, but surpasses the average leech's fangs by five-fold. However, the true horror lies in the leech's feeding method, which defies boundaries and social norms. The tenacious T. rex leech is known for boring directly into sensitive areas, such as eyes, rectums, bladders, and urethras, any membrane providing access to precious fluids from mammal hosts. Surprisingly, its bites are often painless upon puncturing, thanks to the enzyme-rich spit that acts as a numbing anesthetic. However, the leech faces limitations when attempting to burrow deeper through tougher flesh and bone. This struggle results in squirming and writhing during mealtime, causing lasting internal injuries to softer areas in the flesh. Scientists debate the tactical advantages of the T-Rex leech's intimate infiltrations into precarious human regions compared to the more external biting by other jungle leeches. Regardless of strategic intent, the T. rex leech's disturbing feeding habits solidify its reputation as one of the rainforest's most spine-chilling parasites. The Amazonian Giant Centipede Across the forest floor lurks a mysterious hunter, the Amazonian Giant Centipede. The name isn't an exaggeration, considering its imposing size and formidable temperament. 
with a lengthy, segmented body stretching over a foot and adorned with several dozen legs, this sizable centipede possesses versatile mobility, allowing it to navigate through ground cover in pursuit of prey. The centipede's brownish-yellow body, adorned with darker complex designs, serves as camouflage, helping it hide among leaf litter and soil. Additionally, it sports defensive bristles for protection. When threatened, the centipede displays warning colors to signal its ability to deliver venomous bites. These bites, delivered through massive modified fangs known as forcipules, can cause excruciating pain. As the second largest centipede species, these giants prey on smaller jungle inhabitants, including frogs, rodents, snakes, and even juvenile caimans and ocelots. Despite their intimidating size and potent bites, these creatures generally avoid conflicts and opt for speedy retreats into the forest cover when possible. However, their powerful venom acts as an insurance policy against almost all challengers. It's essential to approach these creeping titans with respect when venturing into the deeper Amazon on foot. The infamous Kandiru Vampire Fish Few tales from the Amazon instill more dread than that of the notorious Kandiru, also known as the Vampire Fish. This parasitic creature is infamous for infiltrating unfortunate victims in a deeply unsettling manner, targeting every imaginable orifice. Falling prey to the Kandiru means hosting a wriggling, eel-like catfish internally, secured by its unyielding spines, making removal nearly impossible. Despite its technical name, Trichomycteris candiru, more sinister titles like toothpick and penis fish, hint at its rumored preference for invading urinary passages. Measuring under six inches in length, this invader targets larger aquatic hosts to anchor itself and siphon blood, using razor-sharp teeth lining its circular mouth. While the majority of kandiru attacks focus on the gills of larger fishes, long-standing legends tell of these creatures invading the intestines, anuses, and urethras of unsuspecting mammals. Although no definitive medical case confirms human penetration, records recount disturbing deaths and injuries among Amazonian villagers and bathers, with the Kandiru as the prime suspect. While the Kandiru's reputation may be somewhat exaggerated, its sneaky, parasitic nature and the surrounding rumors have solidified its menacing notoriety. Local legends have amplified the Kandiru into a cautionary boogeyman tale, ensuring that no visitor takes lightly the prospect of entering the Amazon's waterways. The Ancient Amazon Cave Paintings In 2017, researchers made a remarkable discovery deep in the Colombian rainforest. A vast network of cave artwork dating back 12,000 years, providing stunning evidence of early human culture. These ancient cave paintings hinted at the existence of unknown hunter-gatherer tribes who once inhabited the dense jungle alongside a variety of unusual animals. Faded images covering miles of cave walls and ceilings captured colorful depictions of beasts from the Pleistocene era, corresponding to the time when early humans first migrated into the Americas. Some of the depicted species, such as capybaras, marsh deer, and monkeys, still exist today offering recognizable glimpses of the modern Amazon's flora and fauna. However, the artwork also showcased mysterious extinct creatures, particularly herds of mastodons and ground sloths towering over human figures armed with spears. These paintings indicate a biologically rich world that has been lost due to climate shifts and overhunting. The sustained artistry found in these ancient cave paintings implies a deep appreciation for the vibrant habitat and its inhabitants, dating back to humanity's earliest days in the rainforest. Archaeologists are hopeful that further excavations in other caverns will reveal comparable sites, providing more insights into the lifestyles and beliefs of ancestral jungle communities during their settlement of the Amazon forests. The Puss Caterpillar's Caustic Armor Hidden among the vegetation in the rainforest, the Puss Caterpillar, despite its harmless appearance, is a tiny toxic terror. Measuring only a centimeter, this larva's seemingly harmless gold and brown coat conceals specialized cells containing dangerous chemicals, making handling the caterpillar ill-advised. 
Its primary defense mechanism involves camouflage, allowing it to blend seamlessly with leaves and bark. If discovered, the rough hairs covering the pus caterpillar enable hasty escapes as it drops to safety suspended from silken threads. As a last resort, when provoked, the caterpillar reveals its true potency by stabbing predators with venomous spines lining its fuzzy coat. The resulting toxin induces agonizing welts upon human skin. Scientific studies have determined that toxin destroys cellular membranes and blood vessels, leading to leakage, swelling, and tissue death. Despite its diminutive size, encountering the pus caterpillar can result in immediate and prolonged anguish. Beyond surface damage, warnings highlight the risk of toxicity entering the bloodstream, potentially causing organ failure or death without rapid medical intervention. Fortunately, healthy adults typically escape lasting impacts, but children and the elderly facing the caterpillar's spines endure elevated risk levels, necessitating urgent medical care. Regardless of its small size, the consequences of coming into contact with this unassuming furball underscore the importance of respecting the pus caterpillar's hazardous nature. The Amazon symbolizes the reality of lethality lurking deceitfully beneath colorful exteriors. The rapid rise of Victoria, queen of water lilies. In the secluded backwaters of the flooded Amazon basin, an extraordinary giant lily pad known as Victoria Amazonica thrives, captivating and bewildering with its alien-like qualities. The circular leaves of this remarkable plant span over 10 feet wide, featuring berry red undersides adorned with menacing inch-long spikes along the edges and underside. These piercing spines protect the lily pad from nibbling fish, allowing its blooms to mature undisturbed for precious days. The lattice of veins provides structural integrity, enabling this colossal lily to support wildlife weighing up to 80 pounds. As dusk falls, the Victoria Amazonica unveils its grandeur with an alluring floral opening, releasing a fragrant aroma. Brilliant white petals encircle a captivating center cavity that is two feet deep, bordered by golden spiked stamens and resembling a futuristic fruit with a secret stash inside. Under the moonlight, the lily pad shimmers in an otherworldly neon azure, enticing scarab beetles during pollination shifts to explore its tantalizing trap. Providing shelter and nectar, the lily pad keeps the industrious insects lingering until sunlight, at which point the lure closes, trapping them inside to fulfill essential fertilization duties before releasing them the next night. This botanical marvel breaks records in growth pace and photosynthetic prowess. Thriving exclusively in Amazon floodplains and tributaries, Victoria Amazonica showcases the region's evolutionary mastery in sculpting supersized flora designed to outshine invasive species. Earning its appropriate title as the queen of water lilies, this plant continuously amazes onlookers privileged to admire its alien allure from the shore or a canoe. The Lethal Manchineal, World's Most Dangerous Tree The rainforest harbors its own version of forbidden fruit, tempting visitors with a fatal promise. The Manchineal tree, also known as the beech apple, its attractive yellow-green fruit conceals the harsh reality of extreme toxicity, surpassing that of most organisms in the Amazon. Every part of the manchineal tree, from its bark and leaves to its sap, contains a compound named forball that unleashes intense allergenic reactions upon contact with human skin. The caustic sap induces blistering rashes similar to poisons like sumac and poison oak, but they're more volatile. Regarded as the most dangerous tree globally, encounters with the manchineal tree leave victims with burns resembling scars from chemical warfare. The liquid foreball can cause temporary blindness if it splashes into the eyes, and some of the toxins can enter the bloodstream, systematically triggering the body's histamines into overdrive. Without swift treatment, prolonged exposure proves fatal as unchecked allergic reactions shut down respiratory and then cardiac functions. Even raindrops become venomous under the tree's canopy, thanks to concentrated sap soaking its branches. Ironically named the beech apple due to its delectable appearance, 
this tree tricks and can be deadly for the uninformed. Behind its innocent exterior, an assassin in the shape of a plant awaits. The deadly, venomous Lomatia caterpillar. Within the depths of Peruvian rainforest canopies roams an attractive yet lethal caterpillar named Lomatia obliqua or armed bear. Adorned with vibrant bands of yellow and black, a nature's cautionary pattern for toxicity, these larvae reach a modest three inches in length, disguising a secretly powerful bite. Equipped with nearly invisible hollow fangs, the Lomatia caterpillar injects unsuspecting handlers with a paralyzing venom that contains a peptide named Lomoxin. Despite being only 20 amino acids long, this neurotoxin efficiently wreaks havoc throughout the body, rivaling the effects of cobra bites and scorpion stings. If the caterpillar latches onto human legs or arms, it induces immediate searing agony with irradiating spasms, preventing easy removal and ensuring significant doses enter the bloodstream within seconds. These tiny proteins interfere with sodium channels, compromising cellular communication that governs muscle contractions, including heartbeats. Without urgent medical intervention, the ensuing cardiovascular damage cascades into complete paralysis and untimely death. Remarkably, there is currently no anti-venom available against Lamotsin, but its molecular structure holds promise for pharmaceutical applications once properly synthesized. For now, these bright tempters in the dripping rainforest provoke well-deserved wariness and respect. The Stonefish, Ultimate Venomous Ambush Predator Patrolling murky freshwater and saltwater environments, the stonefish is the ultimate camouflaged threat. This innocent-looking reef dweller efficiently terminates prey of all sizes, securing its place among the world's most lethal aquarium tenants. Its spotted cryptic coloration allows it to seamlessly merge with rocky debris and corals, providing the perfect cover to ambush unwary fish that stray too close and fall victim to its lightning-fast reflexes. However, the true menace lies in the astounding 13 venomous dorsal spines that deliver tissue destruction and unrelenting neuralgia with the slightest puncture as the stonefish makes its retreat. The evasive nature of sting incidents often leaves victims unaware of the cause until complications arise from ignored impalements by these elusive assassins. For those who accurately identify the stonefish as the aggressor, urgent medical aid is imperative, whenever possible, to endure its fearsome bite. Fatalities still persist, reaching nearly 50% in remote regions that lack suitable anti-venom to counteract the destructive neurotoxic and cardiovascular effects wreaking havoc internally. Tracing the culprits after attacks, poses challenges due to their outstanding camouflaging capabilities, making them vanish quickly in the blink of an eye. Thus, despite their small stature, lethal stonefish uphold reputations as poisonous slayers, dominating the waters they occupy. The bullet ant delivers 24 hours of sheer misery. Within the darkened rainforest is a bulky black ant whose one centimeter length belies a chemically boosted bite, coining its infamous nickname, the bullet ant. A single nip from this insect's oversized pincers penetrates flesh to inject potent alkaloid venom, delivering round-the-clock torture of sheer pain. The ensuing sensations equal agonizing fiery explosions, radiating cold sweats, nausea, and paralyzing cramps through victims for 24 grueling hours. Hence, the bullet ants possess short-term yet catastrophically intense stings that exaggerate reactions, setting them apart from typical ants. Scientifically labeled Paraponera clavata, these intimidating insects scout the undergrowth in guarded squadrons, reflecting their warlike aggression towards enemies. Their intricate hierarchy divides labor among various castes like soldiers, workers, and egg-laying queens. Colonies construct elaborate underground networks housing their younglings, stretching yards long and dotted with multiple entrances to access hunting territories, defending each inch with excessive force. Beyond security risks, bullet ants symbolize an iconic Amazonian rite of passage for local tribes. 
Initiation rituals involve weaving sleeve gloves filled with dozens of enraged ants, secured by leaves, and then worn for ten endurance-testing minutes of searing pain that overrides the senses. Ultimately, this promotes spiritual rebirth for those who survive. It's the pinnacle exam of manhood. Budding warriors who can survive will emerge as enlightened and emboldened. The Lethal Poison Secreting Golden Frog Gleaming as a lost Aztec relic lies arguably Earth's most brilliantly colored yet deadly amphibian, the legendary Golden Poison Frog. No larger than two inches long, these diurnal rainforest jewels parade in sun-kissed skin pigments shimmering from burnished gold to fiery copper. Their dazzling hues act as a warning spotlight, showcasing the little frog's perfected toxicity. It packs sufficient poison to terminate 20,000 mice with a single dose, and that's enough to kill 10 full-grown men. Such mind-boggling lethality comes from alkaloid-rich granular glands coating the golden frog's skin with enough venom to instantly paralyze victims, cease respiration, and disable heart function altogether. The brilliant colors of the golden poison frog are linked to the flowers it frequents. These flowers attract insects, providing the frog with a source of poison. Over time, these compounds accumulate and react with the frog's innate toxins, creating a deadly chemical arsenal. Surprisingly, the frog is harmless in captivity, indicating the environmental factor in enhancing its toxicity. Although admired for its beauty, the golden poison frog is rightly avoided by local hunters, holding its title as the Amazon's deadliest gem. The Gentle Herbivorous Giant Capybara Among the fierce predators in the Amazon, you'll find the capybara, a peaceful and herbivorous giant weighing up to 150 pounds. As the world's largest rodent, it boasts a husky build and is often seen in matriarchal herds of up to 100 individuals. Well adapted to its environment, the capybara's dense, oily coat helps it thrive in both grassy riverbanks and the adjacent waters where it cools off. Partially webbed hind feet make them excellent swimmers, reaching speeds that keep them safe from threats like anacondas and jaguars. Despite their size, capybaras are surprisingly docile, even around humans, as long as they are given their space. Mothers in capybara groups are protective, especially against aerial attacks from harpy eagles. Interestingly, ancient Amazonian communities revered capybaras for their herbivorous habits and saw them as mobile food pantries blessed with fertile land. Far from being agricultural pests, these gentle giants played a harmonious role in early village life. The Natural Geological Oddity of Boiling Rivers Right in the heart of the Peruvian Amazon flows a puzzling natural wonder, the Boiling River, or Mayantuyacu. This river, despite the absence of volcanic activity, maintains scalding temperatures of up to 93 degrees Celsius all year round. Nestled beside the cooler Pucallpa River, Mayantuyacu flows gently through the rainforest, its hot waters sparking local myths of underground fire gods. Geologists propose that intricate underground faults link the river to heated aquifers, transferring geothermal warmth to the surface. The exact mechanisms behind this thermal anomaly remain unclear, with theories suggesting a connection between decomposing forest vegetation and the river's heat. Technological limitations prevent a deeper understanding as sensors can't reach the river's subterranean depths. The boiling river stands as Peru's enigmatic natural oddity, drawing fearless travelers eager to witness its steamy spectacle firsthand. The Colossal Danger of Green Anacondas Establishing dominance as the Amazon's apex predator, the green anaconda relies on unparalleled strength for capturing and consuming prey. With a robust body exceeding 500 pounds and lengths reaching 30 feet, this snake boasts Earth's heavyweight status. Its mottled olive coloring conceals it effectively in rivers, enabling surprise attacks from underwater ambushes. The anaconda employs constriction to overpower prey, drowning and suffocating them in the process. Though the anaconda has a slow digestive system, 
It can go months without significant meals after large kills. While typically solitary, some anacondas may share communal spaces for resting. While human encounters are rare, smaller individuals and children face increased risk near anaconda habitats. Whether full or hungry, mature anacondas patrol the Amazon, showcasing their prowess as formidable predators. The Vast and Unexplored Amazon Rainforest Spanning over 3 million square miles across Brazil and Peru, the Amazon rainforest forms one of Earth's greatest remaining ecological mysteries. This humid tropical zone contains an estimated 3 million animal species and 3,000 types of plants, with the majority of them undiscovered. Humans inhabited the Amazon over 12,000 years ago, with indigenous tribes way before the Ice Age began. Yet most of this emerald jungle remains uncharted wilderness, thanks to dangers like floods, dense foliage, exotic diseases, and territorial wildlife. Scientists have explored barely 20% of its full biodiversity, with potentially millions of unknown organisms dwelling in remote pockets. New animals and plants constantly emerge from organized studies by biologists and lucky encounters with local tribespeople. The challenges don't deter these modern explorers who are motivated by the prospect of unlocking medical secrets in venom and learning sustainable practices from natives, or simply reveling in the splendor of discovering unseen species. The Amazon ecosystem has been a breeding ground for unique creatures, equipped to thrive in heat, humidity, and heavy rainfall over millennia. From tiny poison frogs, massive snakes, and homeopathic plants, to fish with steel fangs, there's no doubt that more revelations are waiting to be found in this forest. As the curtain falls on our rainforest discoveries, consider what other unfathomable life forms and forces might still thrive in unseen Amazon corners yet to be discovered. This is similar to the cosmos, but the James Webb Space Telescope has just launched its brand new JWST Space Edition phone case to help unlock some of these discoveries. These sleek phone cases can be gotten by clicking the link on your screen or by following the link in the description. Share your thoughts, questions, and theories in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe for the latest jaw-dropping discoveries and videos.